Understanding the 9013 pressure switch and how to set it is a fairly easy uh, operation. If you remove the cover, you'll see a label on the inside. The inside label will list the pressure setting that this device was set to from the factory. The, which, the switch itself will have two springs if it has an adjustable differential or only one spring if the differential is not adjustable. The larger of the springs sets the range, the smaller of the springs sets the difference between the on and off points. The large spring adjusts the range of the entire device, moving both the on and off points by the same amount as the spring is tensioned. Three turns of the nut adjusts the, the tension by 10 psi. If you tighten the nut three complete turns, you've increased the, the pressure by 10 pounds. A 2040 switch then becomes a 3050. If you loosen the nut three turns, it lowers it 10 pounds. A 3050 switch adjusted 10 pounds lower becomes a 2040. You'll note that the only difference in the switches themselves is the adjustment tension on the spring, which is identified in the part number by a J-code. Different J-codes for the same device use the same base switch and only adjust the tensions. We use J-codes to identify the different pressure ranges of the switches that we manufacture so that when we ship them we can easily identify their set points. For instance, we have a 3050, which is a J21. If, however, we have a, a switch with a single adjustment, a non-adjustable differential, we only have one pressure setting, for instance, the off at 100, which identifies a non-adjustable differential. The other issue we have is in a reverse action device where the uh, pressures are actually in reverse. In other words, the turn on point is higher than the turn off point, and the J-code must reflect that. A 2216 pressure switch turns on a 22 off at 16. You cannot say 1622 and get the same thing. That would turn on at 16 and turn off at 22, which is a different type of device. The 9013 pressure switch comes either with an adjustable differential or a non-adjustable differential. Most water switches that people are familiar with have two springs both of which are adjustable. One adjusts the differential, the difference between on and off. The other sets the range of the device and identifies where both the on and off points are located. The switches used for pressure control of an air compressor, however, have the two springs, but the smaller of those springs is a non-adjustable differential and is tensioned at the factory and locked to set the differential at a fixed value. It should not and cannot be adjusted. The larger spring is the adjustment that moves the off pressure either up or down depending on the tension of the spring. Turning the nut on the larger spring three complete turns will adjust the pressure by 10 pounds. Tightening will increase the pressure, loosening will decrease the pressure. The differential will remain fixed at whatever value that particular device was manufactured to. If it was 20 pounds, it remains 20. If it was 30, it remains 30. OEM devices that are commonly used in large volumes for water systems will only have one spring. This is not an anomaly, but rather is a way for a manufacturer to set their water supply system with a simple single adjustment. This device, should it ever need replacement, can be replaced with a, a device with adjustable differential. The adjustable differential can be set to match the original switch manufactured for the, the system.